Hey all, Johnny Mullet here with a, another episode of, um, we're going to go with the maintenance and repair series. Um, the vehicle I'm working on today is not a bus, it's actually a pickup truck. This is a 2000 F550 Super Duty with a 7.3 liter power stroke diesel engine. Same engine as you're going to find in a T444E equipped international school bus or even an E-series uh, bus chassis with a 7.3 liter diesel. Um, I'm very familiar with these engines. I've been working on them for a long, long time. That's why I chose a bus with this particular engine. Uh, this vehicle here has over 220,000 miles on it with the original fuel injector still in it. And uh, the customer was complaining that when he first started up, it would misfire and run like crap and it would smoke really, really bad. And then eventually when it warmed up, it would smooth out and run pretty good. Uh, the other problem is it would not start unless the block heater was plugged in for a couple hours or more. Um, even with the glow plugs working, the, the vehicle would not start. So this is not going to be a how-to, but it's going to be a general information on changing fuel injectors on a T444E or a 7.3 liter power stroke. So let's get right to it. I'm going to show you a rundown of what I did. Okay, this is not going to be a, a great video or anything because I'm trying to do this one-handed to show you guys. But, like I said, on a school bus with a flip hood, dog nose type, this is going to be a much easier job than in a pickup truck chassis. So basically there's a bunch of, after you remove the air tube that runs down to the front, to the air to air unit, and you remove the tube from the turbo, get all the stuff out of your way. And then you can see the valve cover is wide open, so pretty cool. Uh, a bunch of little bolts and some brackets. Get all the bolts out. The very back one's the hardest one, but I'm pretty sure you'll get it. So the valve cover will also have an electrical connector right here that plugs into the gasket. So make sure that's off. Um, after all the bolts are out, you go ahead and you remove your valve cover like so. So I already have this one here pretty much going, so I can show you what's going on. Okay, now on the opposite side of that valve cover is another connector for the under valve cover harness. So make sure that comes off too, and you can go ahead and get your gasket out of the way. This gasket is reusable. So if you inspect the gasket and it looks good, you can reuse it. Um, the injectors have this little flip let me see if we can get closer here. This little flip wire deal that flips up out of the way. And then you go ahead and wiggle the connector out. And then this white wire here, there's a glow plug down in that hole and you pop it out. So once you get them all unhooked, this harness will come right out. So this harness is for the four injectors on this side and the four glow plugs. It's also a good idea to replace those harnesses. Um, they have had troubles with those wiring harnesses, so if you're going to do an injector, you're going to do all eight. If your vehicle has around 200,000 miles, you want to replace all eight injectors when one starts going bad, not just the one that's bad. And like I said, inspect that valve cover gasket. If it's good, reuse it. Replace the harness that I just pulled out. Now the injectors here, they're not too hard to come out. They're actually not bad. Um, first, you're going to have this little Allen head bolt with a, this is an oil chute, and it uh, goes right down on here. Once you pull the Allen bolt, it's an oil diverter, and it keeps, you know, the oil where they want to shoot it after it's coming out. So, you get that out of the way, you got the, you got the thing unplugged, you need an 8 millimeter socket. There's a bolt down here, and a bolt up there, but you don't have to touch that top bolt. All you have to do is take this lower bolt and go ahead and remove it. One handed sucks. That's okay, we're gonna get her done. So I really enjoy working on these engines. This is my favorite diesel engine of all time. I don't know why, I just, I like the reliability of them. The ease to work on them, they're, they're pretty simple to work on for an electronic engine compared to a lot of the newer stuff. 
So you got your bolt out. Now, if you pay attention here, this uh, metal bracket will slide back. I'm going to try to get it to slide back. See that? What that does is it frees itself from the bolt on the back. So like I said, you didn't have to touch the back bolt. So simply get you a little pry bar behind there. One handed, this is gonna suck. Hold on one second. Okay, and I got my pry bar underneath the uh, metal part of the injector. And I'm gonna go ahead and carefully try and pry it up. But I'm trying to do this one handed. I'm gonna try to set the phone down here. And I know what's gonna happen, it's gonna fall, and I'm gonna have to start all over and make a new video. So, uh, you can see some of it there. Sorry about the video quality, but anyway, I'm using a pry bar. Sometimes they, they're tight. Sometimes they stick pretty good. Because there's a lot of O-rings and stuff in there. And there she's starting to come out now. There it goes. Now, what's going to happen, a lot of oil is going to pour down in that cylinder. Have a rag ready. There's a lot of oil. Look at all that oil. Have a rag ready. And if you look right here, there is a glow plug at each cylinder. You need to pull those out also, because all the oil is going to drain down into the cylinders when you remove the injectors. And if you go and put it right back together, all that oil down in the cylinders can cause a hydro lock situation. So after you get all the injectors out, remove all the glow plugs and crank the engine over. Put the valve covers back on. You don't have to bolt them, just set them on there. Crank the engine over for about 10 seconds. That'll get all the oil out of the cylinders. And uh, here's the new injectors with the O-rings on. I already put them on. There's a metal ring and then a rubber seal and then an O-ring, 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 and then a copper washer. So changing the injectors on a 7.3 is not too bad. If you don't feel confident doing a job like this, pay somebody that knows what they're doing. You really don't want to mess your engine up. So that's a quick update on the maintenance and repair series. Uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.